Karen here from the Traveling Foxes and I'm currently in Chiang Rai. Our first stop was the White Temple, Wat Brong Kun, a Buddhist temple which was created by a famous Thai visual artist. Until today, the temple is still not finished. This temple is mostly made out of white plaster and glass. The white color signifies the purity of the Buddha and the use of glass symbolizes wisdom. So behind me is one of the world's most beautiful toilets. So I just finished touring here in the White Temple and it is absolutely amazing. The details are so nice. Even just this little fence over here. Um, my only comment is there's so many tourists. Most tourists come in the morning, so if you have an opportunity to come here in the afternoon, it looks like there's a little less people than when I came in for the first time in the morning. I'm off to my second destination now. We're on the way to visit the Karen Long Neck Village. There is so much mystery and beauty surrounding the tradition of using brass rings around the neck. That is why I went to visit the Karen Long Neck Villagers for myself. The Karen Villagers welcome tourists, as tourism is their main source of income. So here in the Karen tribe, they wear the rings around their neck and the rings symbolize beauty. So the more rings they have, the more beautiful they are seen to be. So we just left the Karen tribe and we are entering another tribe. The second tribe we visited was the Akka Hill tribe. So the main source of income for these tribes is tourism. So if you do visit one of these places someday, try to buy a few things as souvenirs for your friends or family. At least this way it can support them. The Akka people are known for the exotic and colorful costumes. Mm, beautiful, madame. <laughs> I feel so tribal right now. Can't get any more cultural than this. now in the Golden Triangle and this was the opium producing region of Asia. This is Thailand and we are all the way here in Chiang Rai and we will be overlooking Myanmar, Laos, um, from the tip of Thailand. We are going to take the boat so we can get a glimpse of Laos and Myanmar. It did not belong to the Thai, it did not belong to the Myanmar's or the Laotians. And that was the center for opium trade, so it was like the black market. The boat tour allows you to step foot into Laos and do some shopping. Shopping time! This is my first time here in Laos. Um, if, you take the boat, if you take the boat tour, they allow you to come to Laos and do some shopping before you go back to Thailand. This is opium pot. You see that they already took the seeds of opium out. It means seeds of opium if you're eating a lot. Getting DC as well. After that, paradise too. Opium. 
where the sea salt, where opium's out. Now you see that they use more knives to lay it along the pot. Its main rubber saw, opium are coming out from the peel saw. Turtle and scorpion. This one they say they're good for long life. For long life. Snake whiskey, especially king cobra. They say that this one's good for sexuality. Do you never saw that before? Tiger penis. Oh. Yes, the penis of tiger. This is good for sex quality as well, but especially for the, the couple hot to get a baby. So the tour guide took us here in Lao to drink some whiskey, special whiskey. And I find it completely wrong because the whiskey is made out of tiger penis, uh, turtles and scorpions and even snakes. I mean, most of all, it's the tiger penis for me. That's Tigers are endangered, so why would you support an industry like this? It's just... Hi guys, thank you for watching my video on Chiang Rai. And from Chiang Rai, I was able to visit Lao. Overall, it was a very good experience. Once again, please do subscribe to the Traveling Foxes and also like this video. Thank you very much.